Welcome to Web API Tutorials. I am Venkat. In this video, we will discuss about course policies. What is full form of course? Cross origin resource sharing is the full form of course. So when we need course policy, we need course policy when we want to share any resource from our domain to the other domains okay when we are sharing the resources within our same domain we don't need to define any policies that's what second point is saying course is a w3 standard that allows a server to relax the same origin policy that means when we are sharing the resources within the same domain or same origin we don't need to check any policies so server will relax it will not check for any policies okay when it is a same origin policy you might ask what is same origin policy what is same origin first right we will see that in few minutes and third point course is not a security feature course relaxes security an API is not safer by allowing cores. Okay, so we are discussing this course topic as part of Web API security, but here we are saying it is not a security feature, right? Yeah, that's true. What we are doing with cores, we are defining some policies whether to share the resources with other domain or not, right? So except that one particular check, we are not doing anything else, right? We are simply checking whether a particular resource can be shared with other domain or not. By doing that only single check, we can say our complete API is secure, right? So our, our API will be secured with so many features like authentication, authorization, and obviously basic check is a course like this so only with the course we cannot say api is completely secured that's what this point is saying course is not a security feature because course relaxes the security relaxes the security is nothing but course will not initiate any security measures or security checks course will only check for whether the resource can be shared with other domains or not that's it okay by doing this single job the api is not secure and next point here is cars allows a server to explicitly allow some origins and reject others when there are requests from other domains cars policy will help server here explicitly so what origins to accept and what origins to reject we will see that in detail in the next slide next point here is course is safer and more flexible than earlier techniques such as jsonp so before course came into the market people was using jsonp for this cross origin security and let us see what is same origin when we are discussing about cars cross origin resource sharing we need to discuss about what is cross origin what is same origin right so let's see what is same origin first you can see there are two web applications one is a api application second one is a angular ui application this angular ui application is consuming these apis you can see these two are having same origin origin is nothing but origin is a combination of schema plus base url plus the domain extension dot com or dot net plus the port okay so combination of all these is nothing but a origin here you can see these two websites are having same origin https https collegeapp.com collegeapp.com and these two are using default port 8 okay so we can say these two are same origins 
let us see what is cross origin or different origin here are the four different urls okay for these four different urls these are the origins if you see the first two urls are having https https collegeapp.net collegeapp.com you can see there is a difference here so that's why we can say these two are not same origin these two are different origins and let's see the second and third if we consider second and third we can see there is a difference in http schema first one is using https and the next one is using http http right so there is a difference so we can say these two are also different origins let us look at the last two so if you notice last two there is a difference in the port this third one is using the default port 80 and fourth one is using the custom port 9000 so there is a difference in port so that we can say it is a different origin not same origin so along with that port you can see there is a difference in schema also right this is how we can identify so it is a different origin or not okay so these are same origins and different origins and this is web api project this project has two endpoints and these two endpoints are running from collegeapp.com and there are three websites collegeapp.com google.com and microsoft.com you can see our web api project is having collegeapp.com and out of these three websites first website is having collegeapp.com so these two are having same domains so when there is a request from this first website to web api so it will be succeeded because these two are having same origins and when there is a request from second website it will be failed because these two are having different domains and same will happen for third one also because third website and this web api project are having different origins you can see here so this one is having college up and this one is having same domain that's why it is succeeded and when it comes to the second one it is a google.com domain and a college app domain so these two are different so that's why it is failed and here you can see this is a microsoft.com and here it is a college app.com these two are different that's why this one is failed okay so you can clearly see here so when there is a request from same origin it is succeeded and when there is a request from different origins it is failed so how can we make the second to request success so we can share the resources with other domains by adding course policy okay this is the course policy we can add into our web api project i'll show you this in detail here you can see i have added these two domains google.com and microsoft.com as the whitelisted origins so after adding this course policy so we can see we can see our web api will accept the request from google.com and microsoft.com okay that is how we can share the resources with other domains or different domains or cross origins this resource sharing we can do it in three different scenarios first one is the simple request second one is the pre-flight request and third one is the request with credentials these are the three different course scenarios we will discuss in the next videos and when it comes to the enabling course in our web api application we can do that in three different ways so enabling course in our web api application we can do it in three different ways first one is using the middleware and second one is using the endpoint routing 
and third one is using enable course attribute most of the times people will use middleware to configure the course policies in our tutorial i'll show you all three different ways how we can enable course in our application For more videos like this, please like, share and subscribe. If you have any questions, please ask in the comment box. Thank you for watching.